Today we're going to be looking at the iGel Universal Desktop Converter, the UDC3. This is uh, another USB product from iGel. Um, this time it's meant for uh, reprovisioning uh, old PCs, laptops, workstations as Finn clients themselves. So in the last video you would have seen the UD Pocket. This was a bootable USB stick that could be used for contractors, bring your own device, or maybe a pilot phase where you didn't want to sort of affect the underlying PC that you wish to run the fun, uh, Fin Client software on, but you wanted to be able to temporarily repurpose it as a Fin Client. The UDC3 really takes it to the next stage by simply being able to boot from a USB stick and then reprovision the PC permanently as a Fin Client. It will do that by formatting the hard disk and installing the iGel Linux OS onto the machine that you wish to convert. So this is really good when you are kind of just introducing VDI into your business. Maybe you've got some workstations, PCs, laptops you wish to reuse as Fin clients. Um, maybe you've got some uh, investment still left in them, so you're not ready to kind of just throw them away and buy new Fin clients. So I've already downloaded the software uh, from the iGel website. I have created a bootable USB stick that we are going to use to reprovision my old laptop here. This is uh, a Dell Latitude E6410. I think it was one of uh, the first devices I got when I joined here at Computer World. It's maybe around eight years old. So what we're gonna do without any further delay, um, we're just gonna boot the uh, laptop from this USB stick. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer to boot up than uh, it did on my XPS 13 in the last video. But what we're going to do is we're going to select the boot menu um, simply by pressing F12 on this laptop and then choosing boot from USB. There we go. So we can now see we've got the uh, boot option up and we're going to select the USB storage device. What will now happen is uh, the laptop will boot into the iGel Universal Desktop Converter and we're gonna select just a standard installation from the menu there. So we can see it's now booting into the OS. We've got a slightly different splash screen there. We've got a red splash screen rather than the yellow splash screen that we were used to seeing on the UD Pocket or maybe the standard iGel Thin clients. So the laptop's booted into a very familiar screen now. It appears to have booted into the iGel Linux OS. They're using that as the converter tool as well as obviously the Thin Client software. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna choose English from the uh, menu and we're gonna read obviously very, very carefully the terms and conditions uh, and then choose to accept them. Um, we now have just a summary screen. So we can see that the SSD drive in this laptop is going to be the target drive. We can see the firmware version of the Universal Desktop OS software, which in this case is 10.3.110, which I think is uh, the latest version. We can also see there is some unknown hardware. Um, so we may have some problems with standby mode and we may have some problems with audio with this device. So it is a nice sanity check before we kind of go through the bother of wiping the OS and installing on uh, the um, Universal uh, Desktop OS. So we're gonna choose install firmware from the option there and we now get a screen where we can see um, a constant update as to where the process is in terms of wiping the hard disk and installing all the relevant components. So we're just gonna leave this to run through now. Um, I'll speed up the video so you don't have to sit and watch each stage of it. But as you can see, it's 11.27 on the laptop and we'll see when it finishes. We can now see that it's successfully completed. We've got a nice green message, the iGel Universal Desktop Converter build finished successfully. Um, as you can see, the clock's just ticked to 11.29. So it only took around two to three minutes to convert this machine. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna click reboot. Uh, we'll get a message to remove the USB stick, which I've done, uh, and click close. This is now gonna reboot and boot from the hard disk installed in this machine into the Linux uh, OS. As you can see, uh, the machine's now booting into the iGel Universal Desktop. We've now got that familiar yellow background um, and we can see the, the wallpaper is now loading. And that's it. Now, obviously, uh, this Fin Client at this time isn't licensed. 
um, isn't connected to the network and doesn't have uh, the settings. Um, so the next stage would be to probably register this against the, um, uh, the IGL centralized management console to be able to make sure that we apply that license and to uh, apply the settings that are necessary. Obviously before any of that we're going to make sure the network's con uh, configured correctly. And it's as simple as that. So it's taken probably all in around five minutes to be able to reprovision this laptop from an old Windows 8 laptop, or it was even before that, I think, a Windows 7 laptop um, into a uh, Linux uh, OS Fin client by iGel. We can now use that to connect to any remoting solution, use the HTML5 compatible browser on there. So I think this is a really good way to be able to kind of get your VDI project started, to be able to quickly and easily repurpose some old Windows uh, workstations into a much more secure lockdown um, and ideally probably more performant um, thin client that can be used with your remoting solution that you use inside your business. So if you'd like any more details, head over to defineTomorrow.co.uk. Um, I hope you found this video useful.